Hello to everyone, this is Mind Mastery, and today we want to take you on a journey of manifestation, mindfulness, and a better future. This video is for you if you're prepared to discover the mysteries of your mind and body and finally make good changes in your life. To ensure you don't miss any of our groundbreaking content, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell before we start. Now let's begin. When a person is full of life, they are constantly creating and sharing both energy and information. People often say they want a new house, car, or relationship. I want to have a lot of money, including a big bank account and a personal plane. The people in question do a variety of things and then they use drawing methods. But when people try to visualize a fictional situation, they often fail to make an emotional link with it. In fact, people are put under hypnosis and conditioned to feel the feeling when it happens. People can meditate for a short time or do other things. When they open their eyes again, they can feel or see that the wanted object or experience is not there. How should they move forward? People in this situation have a wider range of experiences and less of a feeling of being alone. People tend to work harder when they feel like they don't measure up or when they feel alone. At the moment, people are trying to change matter to get what they want. This is because they feel disconnected from the future. So it makes sense to think of thoughts as electricity signals. In the quantum world, a magnetic field is created when there is a charge in the quantum field and feelings affect this charge. Also, people think that their thoughts and feelings can travel through and spread through this field. Electromagnetic energy has a big effect on how every atom in your body acts. The brain processes send out signs and the emotional processes bring in events that match those signals. So, when a person feels feelings like anger, patience, resentment, or irritability, while still thinking about their future goals, their mind and body are in conflict. When there isn't an energy match between a person or thing and their future, people want to know why things they expected to happen didn't happen. The people are looking forward to the start of their healing process so that they can feel grateful. The people are looking forward to reaching their goals so they can feel like they have enough or are in charge. They hope that their new relationship will lead to strong feelings of love. The earlier point of view could be called the traditional paradigm of reality. It includes ideas like cause and effect, Newtonian science and the idea that our emotions are affected by things outside of ourselves. If a person is living in a state of weakness and is aware, whether consciously or unconsciously, that they are forming their future, they are unknowingly keeping themselves in that state. If a person's thoughts and feelings are affected by the people and situations in their life that they know, then their thinking and emotional experiences are in line with what they already know. You keep having the same things happen to you. So, if you need to really change, it's best to close your eyes, turn away from the world around you, sit down and don't do anything active. It is suggested that you don't join the program again. One way to develop awareness is to move your attention from the past to the present. By doing this, people can successfully train their bodies to feel the feelings they expect to feel in the future in the present. What's the point of doing this? The amount of cognitive involvement with mental imagery is directly affected by how strongly you feel about the future you're thinking about. This makes it easier to remember the past. From a scientific point of view, remembering past events is similar to remembering past thoughts. To be in agreement with one's planned fate, it is important to keep a constant emotional state that matches the imagined future. If someone loses emotional connection because of something outside of themselves, like traffic or interactions with coworkers, and a different emotional state emerges as a result, it can be assumed that they have stopped being in energetic alignment with their desired future. Your energy seems to be like it was in the past, and if you say, this is why, please explain. The person has gone back to a state of unconscious training in which they think of themselves as victims. People say that if you let other things control your feelings and thoughts, you are giving up your unique power. This is the end of the show. Because of this, it takes a lot of awareness. To get what you want, you have to put in a lot of work. This happens when a person's energy and a certain potential in the quantum field are in sync with each other. Now, you don't have to physically go somewhere to get it. Because of what you do for a living, you will always be drawn to scenarios or events that you can't predict and that will play out in ways you can't predict. If you can always predict or understand what's going to happen, it takes away from the surprise. It is very important for them to make you surprised. That has to do with the idea of the unknown, right? This part is especially fun because the brain learns through mistakes and other surprising things. 
why should people try to avoid surprises? When something sudden and out of the blue happens to you, one will think back on acts of betrayal, painful situations, and other things that happened in the past. One could say that there is no reason to change any part of one's history because everything that has happened has led to the present moment. So the past doesn't matter anymore. People use many different ways to deal with and get over things that have happened in the past. Also because of all of these things, when people feel whole and happy inside, they may no longer want things that were important to them before. I'm not really interested in buying a house or getting all the material things that make other people happy. It's clear that many people who try to look inside themselves have run into times when they don't make any progress or when outside influences don't make them do anything. If nothing changes, I'd like to share some thoughts from my own life. I want to talk about the above topics and present them in a way that gives you a fresh look at them and a new way of thinking about them. People often say that they don't change as people until they change how much energy they have. So people think that changing one's energy can lead to big changes in their lives. The things we do to look inside ourselves and meditate require us to take the first step toward going beyond our separate identities. For real production to happen, establishing is the most important thing. To make something new, you have to go beyond your own limits. Go beyond your own personality or the parts of yourself that are tied to the things you know. The world of the familiar or the known is when a person's emotional experiences are mostly based on familiar thoughts or well-established neural networks in their brain and their body has been trained to react emotionally based on past experiences. People have a subconscious tendency to think about the near future when they think about the past. In fact, people always try to predict what will happen next by building a base of repetition, which gives them a sense of safety and security. Even though people know it's bad for their health, they might still make statements or forecasts about it. The only place where the idea of the unknown can be seen is in the present moment, which is sometimes called the sweet spot. If a person is thinking about memories or feelings from the past, how a person spends his or her attention affects how he or she spends his or her energy, which takes vital life force away from the present moment and puts it into the past. When people think about the future, they try to predict what might happen or how they might feel in response to upcoming events or circumstances. When people wake up in the morning, they often think about the people they have to talk to the events they have to go to, and the exact places and times of these responsibilities. Also, they think about the different tasks they have to do in the world they know and understand. So, by accident, this way of thinking takes their attention and energy away from the present moment and puts it towards the near future. So much energy could be put toward making a new life, which would allow the body to run on autopilot once a pattern was set up. Putting a person on a path that can be predicted based on what they've done before means that they won't be able to come up with new solutions and will instead just be a product of algorithms. So the only place where real creation can happen is in the here and now. People are urged to let go of their usual ideas about reality and turn their attention away from what they already know. This lets them explore the new or unknown world. When you reach the state of sublime present, you have to change your energy. The action is not done by a real thing or a person. Instead, it is done by a state of awareness. Transformation starts when a person is able to combine a clear goal with a strong feeling. The length of time that someone is aware of this energy has a good correlation with how much they draw a similar experience. If someone follows the steps above, reconnecting with their identity as Manuel and separating themselves from their subjective experience of their imagined future, and then goes on to interact with other people and deal with life's challenges, it's likely that they will lose touch with their emotions about the future and go back to their normal known state. So the energy you have will line up with a vibrational frequency that matches the knowledge and understanding you already have in your world. What kind of things make up your world? There are a lot of different things, people and places. People reaffirm their sense of self by reacting to their own unique situations in ways that confirm and strengthen their unique qualities. In a symbolic sense, when a person finishes meditating, they feel the emotions that go along with their imagined future. But after a while, this mental link is broken and the person goes back to feeling the way they did when they had that experience, using the same techniques. 
If a person stops feeling the emotions connected to their future, it may be assumed that their energy output has also decreased. This means that their energy has gone back to the past. If someone says that a certain person or thing is to blame for their current situation, they're basically saying that their actions and choices are directly influenced by things outside of themselves. When feelings and thoughts are influenced by outside forces, people are more likely to be affected by their surroundings. This makes us easy targets for abuse. First, when something like this happens, people start eagerly looking for it to happen again. When people want to start a fight, they try to predict the future or use their power and influence. They also try to change the situation to see if they can get the result they want to a certain degree. During this time, people may think positive and aspirational ideas, say what they want, and try to find comfort as they deal with the current state of split. The thing in question is not something that is done on purpose. The process in question happens without the person being aware of it. Instead, the person is now analyzing their acts to figure out what they did well 